Good morning guys, welcome to another vloggy vlog. If you like my name is Mundi, please do consider joining the fall by clicking the subscribe button to my returning studies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I miss telling you guys so much. Guys, already I just come came in now. I haven't had even three sips of my coffee. I've gotten a call to deal with an equipment that's not working. I have an email that I need to go get an order, collect an order. Already the morning is busy. So I don't even think I'm gonna have time to talk in this vlog, but I wanted to answer some questions that I get to like that have to do with my work. Every time I upload a vlog of me doing something at work, I always get these questions, okay? So I was like, since I'm doing a nine to five vlog, I think this is a better place for me to answer those questions so i will cover some time for me to answer those questions while i'm at work and while i'm busy but today is going to be a full busy day okay we are doing a dna extraction running a pcr doing a, di a dna digest and we're going to be making our agarose gels of you and them it's a busy day today okay so stick around okay
for the PCR to run my samples as you guys saw it's gonna take about two hours and 19 minutes if i'm not mistaken so i'm gonna give it like two hours and 30 minutes while we wait for that let me just get to these questions so these are the top three questions that i will get here and there in my videos where i show like what i do at work the number one question is what did i study okay so i have a bsc degree in physical and chemical sciences with my major subjects being microbiology and biochemistry now the interesting thing about this degree is that when i was about to do my third year it took me four years to do it when i was going to my third year i changed my program and i entered another program so with the change uh my majors also changed the first two years I majored in uh, in chemistry and biology, the first two years. And there was another, there was actually a different degree. I don't remember what it was called, but as I said, I changed. And then when I changed my program, I majored in biochemistry and biology. The reason why I changed is because I was hearing a lot of people say that uh, biology is such a wide, like a, a, a wide field it's not really specific people were talking about how it's difficult finding like a job when you just have a degree in biology and stuff like that so with all that talk i was like okay you know what let me just pick uh, a, a program that's gonna that's kind of like gonna be more focused so the one that i picked i majored in biochemistry and microbiology and i felt like that one to me was it was more easier for me to then determine what is my next step you know so yeah we decided to do that for my uh my bsc degree and then when i was done with that one i then per went ahead and got my bsc honors in uh, biochemistry and then after that i got some all i got i also got some some knowledge uh into like the biotechnology field so that is what i studied and then the second question that i get is like what is my job what is my job title <laughs> so guys i am a lab technician if you watch my vlogs if you're regular on my vlogs and especially the vlogs where i take you guys to work you probably have figured out where i work even though i never tell you guys like i never outright tell you guys where i work specifically but i do work in, in an educational uh institute i work with students mostly undergrad students the second second years and third years and then i uh, do also work with some honors students but that's like for the first two months of the year that's when i work with the honor students and we just help them like with when they do their their their, their lab technique uh course and the lab technique course is just um us and like other like lecturers professors in the department showing those students or teaching them like lab techniques that they will be able to apply when they are doing their respective honors project and then with undergrad students we just help them with their practicals so what we do is we work together with the with the lecturers so the lecturers will give us like a manual about what like about the practical that they want to do and then what we have to do is we have to make sure that everything for that practical is ordered so we do the ordering for the for the on for like the practicals gen yeah the practicals i will say we have to make sure that the practicals everything for practicals is there we have to test the practicals before the students uh do the practicals to make sure that everything works for instance right now i am busy troubleshooting a practical that the honors students did at the beginning of the year so the honors are course the honors technique course is split into three fields genetics biochemistry and microbiology i belong in the genetics uh the genetics side so with our practical it did it had a lot of pcr extractions agarose gels uh that's what we mostly do in in our genetics uh side so the practical that they had it didn't go as planned so right now i'm busy troubleshooting it 
to make sure that next year when the honor students for next year do it everything goes smoothly you know i also do sometimes help out with biochemistry the biochemistry side normally does like sds pages tissue culturing uh protein work and um what else am i forgetting western blots alizas and stuff like that those are things that i'm also familiar with because on my when i was doing my honors i did protein i did protein work um tissue culturing sds pages also when i was doing the the biotech stuff those are things that i'm also familiar with so my position um requires me to be in genetics and also be in biochemistry because i also have a biochemistry background and then also one of the things that i also have to do is make sure that everything in the building is working nicely so my every month i'll do a safety check and make sure that everything is working properly and if there's any like health issues or like health um related lab stuff or an injury in the lab or maybe there's a chemical spill or something like that it will get reported to me and then i have to report it to the right people if there's a gas uh, a gas spill or anything like that that will be reported to me i'm also a safety evacuation uh person what is the right term <laughs> i'm forgetting all these right terms but if there's an evacuation that needs to be done i assist with the evacuation of the people in the building and all of that uh what else do i do actually um yeah that's basically that's kind of like the core of what i do here and also for those who don't know this is my first job also i went straight from being a student to working i remember when i was studying i was i would get so stressed especially when i was getting closer to finishing my studies and i'd be like oh my gosh what am i gonna do what am i gonna do what am i gonna do because a lot of like uh graduates struggle finding jobs people end up working at like the stores uh shop right pick and pays and all of that and to be honest with you i'm one of those people i was prepared to work those low income jobs i was like a job is a job i don't care and i know a lot of people were saying that when you go from being a student to the working field you don't earn a lot and i was like i don't care because a lot of these places they require you to have experience and you're like how do you how are you supposed to have experience when you're coming straight from school and no one wants to hire you that was one of those the things that was stressing me because every time I would go to like these job seeking sites, they would say they want experience. And I'd be like, how am I getting this experience? Because no one wants to hire a graduate. How are we supposed to get these experience these like experiences they want? But I was so fortunate that I didn't have to go through that. Like I remember when I was done studying, guys, I think I probably applied like to 50 places and some of these posts guys they were perfect for me like when i would look at them i'd be like this post is perfect it's perfect for me and some of these posts they would be like they fine with if if you don't have experience and i'd be like oh i'm definitely getting this job like i qualify for this job but i never 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 got um called back even today i've never re received anything from those places that i applied to i remember when i saw this post to this job the title guys was so intimidating because i was as i said i was a graduate no work experience and i was like it's a it's a lab technician um position and i was like they probably want someone with experience in all of that so i was like you know i'm going let's let me just apply to this job and we'll see what's gonna happen and i applied guys and i remember i got a call back from them i got an email telling me that i was going through to the next step and i was mind blown so uh, with that little bit that i just said there i want to tell you that apply even if the the post seems intimidating the title of the post is intimidating apply you're not losing anything by applying okay you're really not using anything because i'm one of those people when i first started i would see these titles in these job positions and i'd be like they probably need someone with more experience or more qualifications and i would not apply to them but this one something in my spirit was like when you apply even though the title is intimidating just apply and here i am guys <laughs> here i am so another question that i i get is like how did i get my job and this is gonna sound cliche guys but it's all god i really don't know how i got this job all i can say is that it is all God, God did 
God did all of this. I really, I don't have a blueprint. I can't tell you do this and this and this. Don't do this and this and this and this. I can't. All I did was just Google. I know that the one thing that I did spend a lot of time into trying to improve was my resume, okay, or CV or whatever you want to call it, okay. Because I, one thing I was like, okay, I'm not going to pay someone to do my resume. So I spent a lot of time Googling how to do a proper resume, okay. I will leave the link that I used to make my resume and also to guide me on how to do my resume. I will leave it down below. That website tells you how to do a resume when you don't have experience. How to do a resume when you're a high school student and you're looking for like a part-time job. How to do a resume when you are like a PhD student and you have all this experience, all these it, it shows you templates of how to do resumes like a, a, according to your experience if that makes sense. So I will leave it down below. But if you feel like there's too much work for you, you can always pay someone to do your resume for you. Okay? That is yeah, you can. Also another tip I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you guys. When you're doing your resume, when you're listing your skills, put the same skills that they put on the post, put them in your resume. Even if you don't put them exactly like that, but put those keywords they've listed under the post under the skills put them in your resume okay and that's because nowadays they use computers to sift through uh applications and then these computers i don't i don't remember the name of what this called but these computers have keywords that they are looking for in your resume so when you're doing your resume make sure that you take whatever is like all the the skills and requirements they need from the post and put them in your in your resume but yeah this ended up being so long it was like 14 <laughs> 14 minutes but yeah i think those are the top three questions i ask I, I get asked i don't think it matters where i studied because i don't think people hire people according to where they studied I don't think it matters but if you're interested i did my bs my first degree in northwest university my freaking campus unibo and then i did my second degree in stellenbosch university yeah anyways let us go ahead with what needs to be done today i'm going to be making my gel right now because once the pcr is done i need to run the products on an agarose gel so that I can see if I get my bands on the corresponding marker band. Like guys, I don't know. I'm interested because you know when I do these jobs, I don't really want to go. I don't. I don't really want to get in. Go like go into science. Like be deep with science. <laughs> I'm a nerd also. I don't want to go deep because just in case I confuse someone. Just in case someone who's not. In the science field doesn't understand what i'm talking about okay so i kind of like bra i kind of like give you the gist like the top layer <laughs> when i'm talking about my job and all of that but i don't know i feel like you guys will google if you're in the science field and you're like what is a pcr you can google what is a pcr what is an agro's job all of that anyways <laughs>
언제나 함께 있었음 해 모든 게다 통하니까 Feels like daydream에 너와 있을 땐난 I love my life 사라지지만 나의 전부 그 chemistry 이상 너무 더 too 힘들었을 때마다 늘 함께 했던 너 눈이 마주쳤던 그 순간 생각을 공유해 우리 둘 사이에 텔레파시 바라보고 있는 날과 Nowhere and nowhere Can I find someone like you 한눈에 알아본 넌날 replica We don't need to see each other To know that we're on the same wavelength Oh yeah, why can't we just meet tomorrow 아직도 넌 아직도 날 찾고 있어 매일 매일 난네 생각하다 잠들어 My heart is beating for you 왜리 왜리 널 헤매이고만 있어 I don't know what more to expect 물론 아냐 너는 나 나는 너라는 말은 하고 싶지 않아 정말 볼게 바다 건너난 널 모든 할게 말해줘 What you want 자고 싶지 않아 또 나는 홀로 우선 해보는 거야 나랑 YOLO 옛날 너와 나란히 갔어 주말이 평범한 연인처럼 밥을 먹고 싶어 내말 틀린 건 하나도 없어 안될 거란 생각 이제 던져 너가 없으면 날 OK OK 난 잘못 고잘 살길 OK OK 맘을 다 부어주긴 좀 그래 잠을 만들자 One thing about a PCR it will take its time OK That is why when you're running a PCR you need to make sure that you have other things that you are going to be doing while the machine is running right now i have 28 minutes left guys and for some reason when you're doing a pcr that is when time decides to move at a snail's pace so i decided to do a restriction digest while i wait for it and the restriction digest i can keep at minus 20 and i can run that one tomorrow on a gel but yeah i am tired but i am full i ate <sighs> this day is long i haven't really done this much work since like <laughs> i don't know in a long time because the block has ended like it's exam time right now so this is kind of like our chill time but also for some reason you have days where you busy as heck but one thing i know for sure is that i need a holiday i need to go on leave okay because i'm tired my body is tired my brain is tired everything is tired
guys my battery is about to die right now so i don't know whether this is the end of the vlog or if i'll pick it up but i think i'm gonna stop it right here with the work stuff because i'm at five percent and i need to go to shop right and i need to reserve my battery because i'm gonna use uber to go home so yeah